joining us today as we come online here, line here today. So as you're coming online, just want to encourage you to say hello to everybody and, and uh, then we'll get going. Hopefully you're drinking good coffee today and uh, just having a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday morning. So thank you for joining us today. So today I actually have several friends with me and uh, just going to go around and uh, share, have them share their names. And I'm going to go to a gallery view so that everybody can see everybody going around. So why don't we kind of go, go around up on, if you're looking this morning, up on my left, unless it's mirrored, we, we have Dr. Kim Martinez. Uh, Dr. Kim is our group's director. And then right below her is Krista Skeving. Krista Skeving, those of you here at Shoreline Community Church, you're no stranger to Krista. Uh, Krista is my assistant and uh, she's, uh, she's the one that just get, has grown up in the church and has so much to offer. And then right below me, is Natalie Radford. So Natalie, welcome. Morning. Morning. Natalie is our, our uh, connections director and uh, does so much involved with our coffee ministry that we're getting ready to launch. But before we get going, just 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 want to say hello. Good morning. And Lacey is online. I know that you guys are joining me here. You yeah. can Lacey, good morning, Lacey. And Tony and Kathy Adams, Naomi is there. Uh, and Sherry Stapleton, our cousins from uh, back in Oklahoma. Welcome all the way from uh -huh, Oklahoma. Fine. So a little, it's almost lunchtime there, I think, or probably mid-morning, second breakfast if you were in the Middle Earth. So good morning to everyone this morning. As you're coming online, be sure to say hello. Good morning, Ruth. Good to see you this morning. Uh, this morning in uh, Coffee with, with, with Dwayne, we're talking about something that's very important to all of us. Uh, the thing that Jesus told us to do is he told us to make disciples. Matthew 28, he got his disciples around. He said, look, here's... This is your mission. Go and make disciples. And so in doing that, Alpha is, uh, is, is a key thing that as we head, head in, into the fall, that as uh, here at Shoreline Community Church, we've just been like, no, this is such a great opportunity. So I'm going to start with Dr. Kim this morning. And uh, Kim is our group's director. And Kim, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about Alpha and why this is so strategic for us as we head into the fall during a season that we're in? Thank you. Um, Alpha is, is a way of approaching um, the discussions of faith that actually came out of England. And they, and it's, let me just walk you through a, an evening, basically. Um, in a typical atmosphere, when we're meeting in person, they come, you have dinner together, you, you have conversation around the table, then you have a video, and, and then you have conversation based on the video around the table. And in the environment that we're in now, we'll be doing that online. So we will not do the food part. You can bring your own, but we'll be able to watch a video together and and have conversations of faith um, in a, an environment that's not, here's the right answer, but it's more about you exploring the, the questions yourself. Well, those conversations are so important, aren't they? Because you get a chance to it's in a Zoom format like this, is that right? Where people yeah. can actually interact with one another. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know about you, but I think that a lot of times we might have stuff in our head, but we don't really apply it into our life until, until it somehow gets from our head to our heart. And part of that process is being able to talk things out mm -hmm. and be able to actually hear what we're thinking. And, and hear, I have learned best when I'm in conversations with other people and I hear how they're applying things. Well, they even say like the best counselor is the one that listens. They're not coming in and just talking all the time, but, and I like that idea too, because especially in our culture, there's not a lot of safe places where you can get into a group and think differently, maybe not have the same ideas and thoughts and be able to safely share that. And so that's what we're trying to create here, right? Right. And I think also, um, not only is it a safe place for people who may not believe anything that we believe, but they're interested in just learning about what Christianity is all about. Uh, but also, I think it's good for people who are in the church. We all have um, language that we've grown up with. We, we know the right answers, but we may not know what they mean. And we haven't actually dug down in the questions to apply them into our lives. Mm -hmm. So I think that across the board, it will help us um, it will help people explore faith. It'll help those with faith explore their own faith. And it'll help those with faith to f find ways of engaging people without faith, without that um, 
I don't know about you, but I really don't like the salesman pitch of, you know. We got a deal for you. Yeah. Seal the deal. Yeah. And and truthfully, all we want to do is walk alongside people because the Holy Spirit's the one that's talking to them. And so if if we are in, we get in the way if we come up with all the answers. But if we let the Holy Spirit talk to them and let them vocalize what's going on in their lives, then and what and what he's saying, then they hear God much more directly, I think. Mm. Well, and that, that's such a big part of discipleship is about hearing and listening. I think sometimes we th- we hear Alpha and we think, well, if I'm a Christian, that's not for me. But Alpha is such a big part of growing your faith. Uh, you know, um, you know, I, I think about Krista. Krista is someone that grew up in the church. You know, she was involved in my music ministry years ago and, you know, it served, served the Lord all your life as far as I know. You know, there may have been those dark years when you were three years old, but apart from that, we've done pretty well, right, Krista? <laughs> so, so what what attracted you to, Al, to Alpha, Krista, someone who's grown up in the church? Why did you jump in and, uh, and engage with Alpha? Yeah, uh, so I, I did Alpha as a leader. I've done it two times now, and as a group, we decided to do it uh, just First off, to have an opportunity for for new people or people new to the faith to uh, to be able to explore the faith, uh, as well as people who have been in the church, give them an opportunity uh, to go over the basics again. I think we all can use a refresher on those, um, and uh, I feel like it's just such a good way to learn how to verbalize your faith getting more comfortable talking about your faith with people. Um, And instead of using the like kind of Christian words that maybe you get accustomed to being a part of the church, you, uh, you learn to communicate it in a way that is helpful for people who either maybe they don't know anything about the faith or they're even antagonistic towards the church. Right. Well, and I like when we were talking earlier, you know, we had that line that, um, that, uh, that uh, you don't have to, agree to respect one another you know and you talk about how that was very helpful for you to come in and to have that safe place just to put everything out and process it and reason it together yeah absolutely um it's it is truly a safe place there's people who have different backgrounds different faith backgrounds no faith backgrounds um where you can talk through what you believe even if you aren't fully uh aware of how to verbalize it or you've never really thought through it's just a safe place to begin those conversations or continue those conversations that that is that is a is is so powerful so you also talked about how um well done the videos are i mean you're a communications person and (laughs) and uh if you don't know krista does a lot of our graphics and our communication so so how things look and the communication and having that high quality is very important to you so talk about the quality of the videos yeah, I was extremely impressed with the videos that they did. I think they redid them uh, within the last several years. Um, they're up to date. It's not hokey and cheesy. There's uh, real, uh, there's videos with like interviews on the street with people from all different backgrounds. Some of them are Christian, some of them uh, really kind of hate Christians. Uh, so you get a broad perspective that you would hear if you t- talk to someone on the streets of Seattle. Um, uh, but yeah, they're very, uh, engaging. So you can, uh, it's not just listening to someone talk for a half hour. There's, there's interviews, there's testimonies, there's, uh, messages, uh, you're hearing from several different people. So it's, uh, oh, I guess that, it's very that, yeah, that is, that is, uh, so cool. So it's, I mean, I, I love alpha and I'm, I'm so excited we're doing it. So, uh, so Natalie, tell us a little bit about your experience, you know, co- coming in uh, to Alpha and like why you jumped in and what that was like for you. Well, I joined Alpha because a girlfriend of mine who was um, new to our church and I, and I was fairly new to Shoreline Community Church, want, didn't want to go alone. And I really felt like, um, you know, God wanted me to go with her. So I went with her and. I thought alpha, you know, the beginning of the alphabet there, the beginning, the roots of our faith. And, um, you know, it can't hurt to go and learn again and hear what the roots of your faith are. But I was so overwhelmed by um, the ability to 
talk with everybody about their faith and really everything that Kim had said and and Krista, it 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 helps you understand your faith, yes, but then it helps you be able to verbalize your faith to others. And that was huge for me. And it gave me opportunity for uh, talking about my faith because I was doing this class and meeting new people. Um, I really enjoyed that it built up not only my faith, but my ability to, to share what I believe. Mm. And, um, I have to say that the, the, the Holy Spirit, the speaking about the Holy Spirit, the importance of the Holy Spirit. I, I remember sitting at the table talking about the Holy Spirit and I remember telling people how the Holy Spirit speaks to me, how he speaks to me. And I'm thinking, well, how does he speak to me? Mm -hmm. It was like repetition, repetition. And as I was speaking about, excuse me, how it's morning, how the Holy Spirit speaks to me, I, I felt the Holy Spirit. I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. And I was so, I didn't even realize what it was. But now I realize over the years how the Holy Spirit is growing in me and continues to grow in me and will continue to grow in me and will change and even do more things. And you start to be able to see him working and mm -hmm. listen to his small voice. And Alpha, it's like it just opened up a bigger part of the spirit in my life and following God in my life. Yeah, well, I, 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 that's one of the things I love about Alpha is that it, re, it tackles some of those things that are just can be very difficult to talk about or difficult to understand it's or it seems, seems way out there um church church i was involved with back in the northern virginia washington dc area alpha was such a big part of the ministry it was always ongoing and i remember going to the holy spirit weekend and i had all these perceptions in my mind but the way that they walk through it and they handle it and uh not just holy spirit but all the aspects of christianity and of god and who jesus is how he walks in our life it just it explains it so well, allows you to process and talk about it. And you walk away, even for me as someone who's, you know, I was like Krista, you know, had those dark years when I was three years old. But after that, followed Jesus. And um, even as a as an adult, uh, someone who's known the Lord her whole life, it just really solidified and gave a, gave a lot of a lot of confidence to me. Well, and Krista, that was one of the things you were talking about, how Alpha gave you more confidence. Is that right? Yeah. Um... I feel like having had those conversations in in a safe environment, it made me more confident to be able to have conversations outside of what would be maybe a safe environment, whether it's with uh, like I've, I've taken like online classes and in a lot of those I see that there's people who are pretty, uh, they have a lot of animosity towards the church and so being able to to write what I feel and, and like what I believe um, and put good words to it and feel like I can give an answer back. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't come into it with nothing and saying like, I don't know what I'm gonna say if they have a hard question because I've already been able to have some of those hard conversations before and gain confidence there. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's what, you know, we're, we're talked about that we're, we're always ready to give a response, you know, that we've studied that. And part of that being ready is like anything else, you, ha you, you have the practice. I think Alpha, it's, it really like, for those that you're already a follower of Christ, your disciple, it brings you back to the basics. And I think sometimes we misunderstand that. I was uh, listening to a Carrie Newoff podcast, one of my uh, favorite podcasts. And I think it was Dr. Henry Cloud who was talking about um, talking about Arnold Palmer, that he that he was, you know, he was at the top of his game and then he had a bad year. And so they asked him, you know, are you going to start learning new techniques and new things going in? He was like, no. And he actually went back to, I think, his high school golf coach. And they asked him, why did you go back to your high school golf coach? He said, I went back because he said, I needed to not learn something new. I needed to learn how to get back to what got me there. And my high school golf coach taught me the basics. He went back to get my swing because things had gotten off and I didn't need to get off somewhere new. I needed to get back to that foundation. And that's so much of what Alfred, mm. you know, and I, I and I, I keep hearing that. So very excited about it. So Alpha is for um, for people, if you're already in the faith and you want to solidify your foundation. But 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 Kim, there's also that invitational approach like Alpha. The power of Alpha is that you invite someone who doesn't know Christ or do you want to talk about that, that a little bit, how that works? Yeah, well, especially right now when isolation seems to be, you know, everyone's norm, um, we need community. 
And so I think this is an excellent opportunity for people to invite someone who they know is isolated and, and could handle an hour hanging out with others online and really having real conversations because um, we have our work conversations, but I think that because we don't have the water cooler anymore, really, we're, we miss those personal conversations. And so I think right now is an excellent opportunity to invite people to be part of this conversation and to have um, it, what it will do is help them just have community and explore their faith. And um, so this is perfect time and people are perfectly situated. It's safe because they're in their own home. They don't have to come to church and they're able to, um, it meets their immediate needs, but it also will meet their, their soul needs. Awesome. Anything else from the three of you that as we've been talking, things have been resonated and you're like, man, I wish I said that, that, you, that you'd like to share. This is the quietest the three of you have ever been. <laughs> I would say I, I feel like it also in hearing good questions in alpha and discussing them, it gives you good questions to ask other people. So you're not talking at them. You're having a conversation yeah. and, uh, and we all can say, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. I'm going to have to look into that. And that's just such a healthy thing in general to, to, to have in mind as you're having especially difficult conversations or very personal conversations. Yeah, it's that art. That's the Jesus way, the art of the question. You know, a lot of times it's not about having the right answers, but having the right question to kind of stir. You know, we've all, you know, I think about it. We've all, we're all made in the image of God, whether we're, whether we believe in him or follow him or not, um, we're made in his image. And I think about it like this tuning fork that when the voice of God speaks, it resonates in us, you know, and I've seen that in so many people. And a lot of times asking that right question it causes um, that image of God to kind of resonate and start to stir some things in our soul. So that's so important. Yeah, yes. Alpha does that. It gives you the, the right questions. So, and any tips on how to invite a friend? You know, someone's someone's out there today, and they're going. You know what? I have a friend, but how do I invite them to come with me? What what has worked well for you, or what would any of you recommend? Or some like a good way to invite. Someone? I would recommend sitting down and really just praying and listening who should i ask first of all mm -hmm. then when that person comes to your mind you just call them and you say i've been thinking about you you're on my mind and, and i'm doing this and i'm excited for it would you do it with me mm. that, uh, that's one way <laughs> <laughs> what she said that was perfect yeah. god is already at work pulling people to himself and he knows who's ready to have these conversations and so i think if we ask and if we're aware, I think even just asking as an attitude of our heart and as we're walking through the day, he'll bring people to us that um, who are ready to have the conversation. Mm. So, so good. Yeah, and I think of like the, the come with me type of attitude. And if you're excited, it'll be more likely that they will see that and want to be a part of that. And it's kind of like a, a hospitality kind of thing. Like, come join me. This will be fun. Let's do it together. Yeah, yeah, I think... You know, have, having a good idea about what it is that it's not, it's, it's not a confrontation. It's not a debate. It's not a cornering. It's not a seal the deal. It's really just discovering, you know, discovering and seeing what's going on. So uh, I love that aspect. Uh, Alpha right now, for those of you who are familiar with it, uh, this, this is the first time that Alpha has gone online has been during this season. Um, and what they're finding out is that they were concerned that it would it would not do well because it's so much based on being in person and the meal and all of those things, which are awesome. I love alpha meals. But what they're finding out is that going online, we don't have to worry about childcare if you have kids. You don't worry about traffic if you're in traffic. Uh, you can do it right where you are. You know, you can do it from your couch. You can do it from your table, from a coffee house, wherever. So very very uh, very accessible so so kim talk about um how people how people can sign up and when it starts and all those kind of important days where people are going i'm ready to do it okay so alpha will start on um september 14th the monday um and it's i believe 7 to 8 15 and then um we've made it very easy to sign up shorelinecc.com slash alpha We'll take you to the landing page and you can click on the button and sign up. Awesome. And uh, 
And, and Krista, uh, could, could you put those, those links maybe in the dialogue and, and uh, even after we get off here today, we'll make sure that we've got, got those out there for you. So see, Chris is the brains. Chris is the one that makes it happen. So Yay, Krista. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so signing up starts uh, Monday, September 14th. Do you believe we're in September? Well, I'm, signing up starts today. And sign up starts today. Today is the day. This is you the day. The and your leaders are, are truly spirit led too. So it'll be really. Yeah. yeah, and they have a wonderful team. They've been building and practicing and making sure that they understand how the everything works and they've been doing a great job so if, if, if you're out there and you're like man i, I want to find out more about what the jesus thing is what that means alpha is a wonderful way to engage and be, be a part of it you can just jump in and um then if, if you're also if, if you're a follower of christ you want to build the foundation alpha's yeah. for you if you mm -hmm. want to uh find a way to better share your faith with those around you. Alpha's for you. If you have someone to ask questions, invite them. Alpha's for you. And the cool thing about it is if you have a friend who is halfway around the world or halfway around the state, they can join with you now. Where before um, that may not have been possible. Now it's available to everybody, anytime, anywhere. So uh, I'm very excited about it. Want, want to thank you, Dr. Kim, for all of your hard work and just pulling this together. I'm excited about what's happening excited about all the leaders and the things that are there so talk it up share this video and uh i i just cannot wait to, to see uh all the new friends that we are going to make through this so any closing comments from anybody just that we love you all yes <laughs> thank you pastor for all of your work on this and your support and i think that you're the one who first said hey we need to do alpha so mm -hmm. thank you Oh, well, I, I, I love Nikki Gumbel and his passion, what's going on. I actually, back in January, which seems like a long time ago, uh, I got to be at Nikki Gumbel's church, uh, who's, who yeah. is the, uh, the founder, originator of Alpha, and got to do, do an Alpha launch. And, and again, I've, I've been a part of Alpha and other churches and stuff, and I was already in, but just seeing it and seeing the testimonies and seeing, you know, uh, it takes faith, jump in, try to see what God will do. And I heard so yes. many testimonies from his church about people going, you know what? Um, I'm terrible at inviting people. I'm terrible at walking out. I love Jesus, but I don't know how to do this. So many testimonies of people that went, you know what? I'm just going to jump in and let's just see what Jesus will do in my life. And just the amazing things. So I would say jump in and see what God will do in your life. When you just say, yes, I'm going to jump in. You're going to make mistakes. You see me make mistakes. So just join me in that and just jump in and, uh, See what God will do in the season. People are very open. You know, we're in a season right now where uh, where people are very open, and they're very open, especially to a conversation. You know, um, not so much the, the the talking head talking at them, but a chance to process and to share what they think and and put it in the open. Um, there's such an openness to that. So start having the conversation. Be praying. Be inviting. Uh, if you're watching this morning, you're not a person of faith, we would love for you to join the conversation and to, and to come in and find that safe place. So we'll put those links, make sure you're there. Uh, I want to say a big thank you. Uh, thank you, ladies, for joining me for coffee. Thank this is you. great coffee. Uh, you. Though none of you are, drink, are drinking coffee, but hopefully that will be. <laughs> I'm going to be. Oh. oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> but we raise our coffee cups. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank you all. Thank you, everyone uh, who's been joining us on Facebook. If you have, um, if you have, have any questions about Alpha, just be sure, you know, be sure to uh, ask them, to email us, to contact them. I'm just looking right now. Krista already has the link in the comments. And um, uh, Ruth McDougall had a good question. She said, is there a book or a study guide we need to get? And you don't need anything. You just need to show up, right? Yep, there's a video each each meeting and the conversations based on the video. So it's all prepackaged. All you need to do is come for free. Yes. No cost. No cost show up. So thank you. Any other questions anyone has, just be, be sure to ask us. But again, thank you for joining us today. Excited about Alpha, excited about the fall season we're heading into. Uh, just expecting it's a wonderful time of just talking about the Lord and seeing what God would do in our life. So thank you. Uh, all three of you for your investment. Thank you to all the leaders. I'm seeing leaders jump on and, and it's just a wonderful community. Just, just great people that are uh, just committed to loving the Lord love and uh, loving their neighbors all around us. So let's work, work together to love our neighborhood in this season. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Yeah, Love and you. I do I do want to say thank you to Tony and Kathy because they've yeah. done a really great job of pulling together the team and, and building this. So Amen. Amen. Thumbs up and claps. <laughs> Thumbs up and, and claps. I don't know if I can do an emoji on this live. I think you know what? I can. The emojis are still still in effect. So there we go. Yay. All of our leaders. All of our leaders. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining for uh, me for coffee. My dog is ready to be released. So I'm going to go release the Kraken. Have a wonderful day and God bless you all. Bye. Bye.